In this video, we'll take a look at how to close a till. Navigate to Central Finance and then Banking and then Tills. Closing tills is one part of completing the banking process. We'll look at creating a bank deposit and the end of day summary in separate videos. In this example, there is one till, the front office till. Your school may have several tills with several staff assigned permissions to operate those tills. In this case, we have one till, but there are several users assigned permissions to the till. You can see that I'm logged in here as the SAM admin. In this case, I also have permission to toggle through the other users assigned to this till, and I could close their tills for the day if necessary. This can be useful if a staff member is called away for some reason. How this is set up will depend on your school's preferences. For this example, I'll just close the till for the SAM admin. You can see here that there have been some payments receipted, cash, check and FPOS. There have also been some cash payments cancelled and they are shown here. To check these amounts or to see more details about those payments, click the dollar amount shown. Let's look at the cash payments. The cash payments are listed. The cancelled payments are also visible in this list. Notice that by viewing this list, a new browser tab has opened and I'm now in the payments register. It's useful to keep an eye on where this information is stored within central finance. Let's click back to closing the till. Click close till. You might start by counting the cash in the till. Record the denominations using these fields. As you enter the details, this figure will auto update. If there are discrepancies, you can enter reasons for them here. There was one check received for $250, so I'll enter $250 here. No money orders were received. FPOS and third-party transactions auto-reconcile, and that's indicated here by these green ticks, so no entries are required here. When all the details have been entered, click Close Till. The Close Till can be seen here with the status set to Draft. To check the closure or make any changes, you can click Edit and make the necessary amendments. The next part of the banking process would be to create a bank deposit for this closed till. But before that happens, the till needs to be marked as checked. This option will only be available to those users who have been assigned that permission. In this example, the SAM admin user has that permission, so I'll click Mark as Checked. The till is now closed. As mentioned, the next part of the banking process is to create a bank deposit, which creates the necessary information required for the receipted payments to be physically collected and banked. And we'll look at that in the next video.